soldiers, police officers, first responders, those who work in the medical field, these are some of the jobs we think of when we think about jobs that require courage. And at the top of the list would be firefighters. And Corey Green is the head recruiter for Huntsville Fire and Rescue. He joins us. Uh, Corey, what made you decide to get into this field? Uh, initially, I didn't have a reason. Uh, I didn't know what my calling was. I didn't know what my purpose was. But I knew I wanted to make a difference in uh, other people in the public's life. So um, I said, why not try a firefighter and let's see if I like it or not. A uh, police officer was another one on my list. Uh, but I've tried firefighter first and I absolutely loved it. I love the difference that I make in people's lives. I love changing uh, an unstable situation to make it stable. Um, this is so much that plays effect in, into it and uh, I've been fulfilling that role. And you have to um, recruit yes, men and women to become firefighters. Yes, what do you look for when you're recruiting? Well, we look for all type of demographics and uh, ethnicities and uh, you know males and females. But uh, most importantly are the characteristics that we look for. We look for somebody who's goal-driven, somebody who wants to make a difference in the community, somebody that's courageous, somebody that's brave, uh, somebody that really wants to make an impact on their community in a positive way. And the Bible tells us that we'll never be alone because God goes with us yes, at all times. And as a firefighter, you have to depend on your, your team, your other yes, firefighters to go with you. That has to give you courage to be able to do your role. Yes, yes, definitely. We have a model that we all stick to. Uh, it's two in and two out. And we never go anywhere alone. We always uh, have a partner with us, uh, somebody that's with us that keep us from freelancing or doing anything that might get us hurt or injured uh, in the long where help is not around. So we always try to stick together and be together, be a team oriented so we can uh, help each other at all times. And do you have a, an example, something that comes to mind when you think of, you know, when the, your team really stepped in and helped you out? Yeah, I can think of plenty. Uh, just one in specific, uh, when I was a firefighter at Station 5, one of our hazmat stations, we had a, a structure fire at one of, one of the houses in the district and <clears throat> I was on the, uh, in the attic and the, the fire had got a little aggressive and it got in the, uh, the raptors, the joists, and I actually fell from the attic. Uh, and I just, at that moment, I remember realizing that, um, man, what's about to happen? Am I about to die? You know, just kind of panic a little bit. That's something that don't happen all the time. But thankfully, we, uh, me and my partner, we stuck to the rule. Uh, so he was there. And within no time, he started tugging on me. Come on, get up, let's go, let's get out. <laughs> and uh, we were able to get out um, with me with no injuries. And just to know that he was there to grab me and uh, help me out uh, made me feel so good and secure. And I was glad that we stuck to what we actually believe in. That tug had to have been one of the greatest feelings <laughs> of your life. <laughs> it was, it was. And you have a wife, Brittany, two, yes. two children. Yes, is it is it hard on the family, you being a firefighter? Yeah, um, with our schedule, it's one thing. It's, we work 24 hours on, 48 hours off. Uh, but just the stress of the danger that comes with the job. Uh, but I try to stress to her the importance of me training and trying to be prepared for any situation and every, every scenario. Um, but also the fact that I have a partner with me at all times. So you don't have to worry about me being alone and getting hurt by myself. So. <laughs> And, yeah, training is key as well. Exactly. exactly. Would, you, would you want your children, your son, your daughter, to be firefighters if they wanted to? If they had the desire to do it, I, I would definitely recommend it. Um, I think it's a good career to change people's lives and to make a difference. And if that's what they feel like their purpose and calling is, I most definitely would recommend being a firefighter. And if anybody's watching, we'll send them to our website and they yes. can connect them to you. Yes, please, as far please, as for please. Recruiting. Yes, ma'am. We also, you can follow us on Instagram or Facebook. Um, and you can also go to our website at joinhuntsforfireandrescue.com, fill out an interest card. We will be hiring before that year is out. So uh, hope you're ready. <laughs> okay, thank you, Corey. Thank you.